uh, Coach, I think Coach mentioned, um, 12th season. Coach Burrow, myself, and Coach Selich of uh, our 12th media day, very excited. Had a great offseason as a team. Uh, Coach mentioned Dak, Sonny, done a great job. The guys have put the, time, put the work in. Just on paper from testing testing results, I think we're, we are um, ahead of the curve since probably 2011, 2012, was as far as numbers, strength and speed, the guys have ha had a huge jump. So we're very, very excited. We've got a very, very challenging non-conference schedule coming up, two BCS schools. Um, we're very excited about that. Coach Solich, myself, and Coach Burrow have gone into Lawrence before, uh, been, been to Tennessee before, uh, played Gardner Webb before. And uh, going, going, got, got a great, a great opponent in um, Sun Belt with uh, Texas State coming. So we're, we're looking forward to that. The, uh, you know, before I get going on, on our positions, I want to thank our the staff on offense. Guys, I got a great bunch of guys. Uh, been together a long time. Dwayne Dixon, Brian Haynes, Dave Johnson, Scott Isferding. Uh, I've done, done a great job, and so um, I uh, appreciate all, all their, their, their work. That's for sure. The um, <clears throat> I'll start with my group, running back wise. Coach, you know, he hit all the points that need to, that need to be hit on. Uh, I'm very excited, as I've told Jason many times. I, I, there might be a, 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 a one better running back somewhere around in our league. You have to show them to me, but I know there are, there are a couple really good ones. But as, if, as far as having four or five guys in a group, I, I really think um, our, my group at running back is, is going to be one of the better better groups in, in our league, and I feel that way about our wide receivers. There might be one or two guy that, guys in the league that might have a few more catches, but as far as a group and as a whole, we've got some I think some special guys there. But uh, AJ's uh, again two two really really uh, special I think really good seasons. Uh, his off season, I mean his strength numbers are up considerably. Uh, dropped almost two tenths in the forty. He's had some hamstrings -ish issues, but um, uh, had, had, had a great 40 about three weeks ago. So I'm very excited um, for AJ in this season. Team captain does, does a great job. And of course, uh, Poppy, Malik, Dorian Brown, all those guys have played. Coach had, had mentioned it enough times that, I mean, we're going to move those guys around. We're going to find ways to get the ball in their hands. And, um, you know, like, just like Coach Burrell talked about going into the season, stopping the run, for us, score more points. I mean, we got, you know, we got things we got to do, do better. Uh, score more points is top of the list. And um, I think with the weapons that we have and what we're doing with, with moving some guys around will give us our best opportunity to do that. Wide receivers, uh, I, I refer to them as the big three, Sebastian Jordan and, and Brendan Cope. Those guys have played as freshmen. And uh, two of the three I mentioned are going to be seniors. I, I, again, I refer to them as the big three. They can play all three positions, do a great job. Uh, we expect those three guys to have a great season. And um, I'm very excited about some guys uh, uh, that, that will play for us this year that have, have really shown up. Rico Brown, Elijah Ball, Kyle Belak, uh, Andrew Meyer, Cameron Odom. Have, those guys have all uh, stuck out in the first five days and I think um, have had a, a great summer as well. I, I, the, 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 there are others, uh, but that's just me writing, writing down before I walked up. We're very excited about that group. Tight end, um, Troy Mangin uh, missed last year, had an unfortunate injury uh, at practice. Uh, has, had a, has, has rehabbed his, his injury, put on 25 solid pounds, and uh, has looked very, very, very well here this, this camp. A little rusty on some things, but he is um, uh, gonna, be, gonna be a factor. You guys know he's on the, on the, the watch list with the, with the Mackey Award and uh, he, he's going to be a weapon for us. I'm very, very pleased and excited about uh, Morgan Mason. I think he's had a special camp. Uh, both, both Troy and uh, uh, Mace have uh, played as redshirt freshmen, or freshmen, I should say, and uh, they're juniors now. So we expect those guys to, to take the next step and contribute to the offense at the tight end spot. Um, O-line, I think that uh, the starting five guys, you know, I, we started today. I'm not sure what, what the five would be and what positions, but uh, we've got a, a, pr a pretty good group as far as five and as far as playing time. You started the tackles with Joe Lowry, Jared McCray, Troy Watson's been basically a four-year starter for us. Um, I'm, those guys have got a lot of experience. You know, Joe, Joe had the injury last year and, and, and played and or started for us as a, as a true freshman. Joe did. Uh, missed last year. 
has had the surgery rehabbed, and he's like Troy Manchin. I think he's had a good off season, um, and, and we look for Joe to, to, to take that next step as well. Uh, I think I want to mention uh, Austin, Austin, um, excuse me here, Austin Pleasance uh, at, at the tackle spot. Uh, so doing doing mostly at right, but can but can swing. I think those four guys will have something there at tackle. And the, the key to the O line is like any like the D line is depth. Uh, those those five guys that w when I get done munching the centers and guards, we got to get some depth there. So coming down coming down late October November, uh, the the guys aren't asking the we're not asking our starting five guys to go 75 plays every Saturday. So uh, that's that would be the goal. Um, center Jake. Started every every play every snap for us as a as a true freshman. Played for us last year. Uh, he has moved made the move to center. Has had, has had a solid solid uh, off season. He's done great in fall camp, snapping the ball. We're excited at what he what he can do for us. Uh, very strong in the middle. Very mobile. Moves like a running back. Uh, uh, I think he'll call us the linebackers on second level. Uh, uh, I think he's going to be. Uh, uh, like a fly buzzing around. I think he's going he's gonna to be able to get some stuff done at the, at the next level downfield for us. Uh, the guards, I'll start with Darrell. Darrell started for us as a true freshman. Uh, he's battled uh, through, through a surgery. I expect Darrell to have a great year. Uh, Josh Cooper, it's both guard and center. And uh, I think Joe, Joe Anderson, Nick Gibbons, uh, very, very experienced in there at the guard spot. So I'm missing a lot of names uh, up front. Typically, it takes a lot of names in the in the old line. You know, you, you, like, you like to get 10 or 12 guys that you can play uh, for depth. Uh, I think Scott's going to talk to you here in a minute about uh, the quarterback situation. I think Coach got into it pretty good, so I'll leave that to Scott. Um, you know, again, back to the the group, repeating what Coach talked about, Jimmy talked about. Offense, we got to score more points. Um, uh, you know, we, we've had a huge jump last year from the two previous years. Uh, when we played a lot of young guys, we, I think we're up almost seven or eight points a game. If we can have that jump this year, you know, we're going to be top 20 in the country as far as scoring goes. Uh, if we can have another seven or eight point jump per game, that's, that's a pretty big jump. But um, uh, I know that we're setting the bar high. The guys have worked hard because uh, the bar is set. So we can't win the conference championship uh, the first game. But um, I think come conference time, it should be a lot of fun. So we're very excited, and um, I'll open up if anybody has any questions at this time. You heard the Chris Solis talk about being more aggressive play calls. Yeah. Uh, how, how, do you, how do you see more aggression play on offense? Yeah, I th again, I, I should have mentioned that Coach has been, he's been after me about taking, taking a few more shots. Um, I think, you know, the, some of the formations, uh, we've got, we've got to keep it simple, um, you know, so you guys uh, can play fast. Jimmy had mentioned that. It's the same thing offense, offensively. If they're thinking a lot, they're moving slower. If they're not thinking a lot, they're moving a lot faster. Uh, and, and we've got some speed on the outside. You know, uh, uh, I'll just start with, you know, the, uh, Brendan Cope uh, ran a 4-4 flat electronic in the 40. That's, I mean, that's faster than Taylor Price. That's faster than LeVon. I mean, that's fast. Uh, you know, Poppy, Poppy's got his speed back coming off his knee. Uh, you know, Jordan, Sebastian. Uh, so I think we got some, some guys that can stretch the field. Uh, that doesn't mean it just drop back and, you know, let it go. But uh, I think we're going to have a good enough running game that, you know, when we start putting that ball in the bellies of the running back, there's people going to react, and I think we can get over the top. So. Um, and like, and, and you know, what you're talking about, Jason. I mean, Coach, he wants to be more aggressive and, and pushing the ball down the field a little bit. So that's definitely going to get done. He don't have to tell me twice. Uh, three running backs, as mentioned, as a formation. Is this something that basically you mentioned trying to get all your running backs on the field at one time? Is that, or at least running games? Is that an idea that you want to Yeah, I think, yeah. I mean, last year, going up until Poppy's injury against Western Michigan, we were in. We had two backs on the field about 40% of the time, according to our stats. Um, you know, again, I, you want your best 11 on the field. We feel like two guys out of my room, out of my position, are part of our best 11 at times. And, uh, and then, then we got banged up and, and didn't do it as much. Going into this year, they're, you know, those guys return. So we're, we're thinking two of, two of my best, two of my best uh, are, are our best 11. So coach mentioned three, sure, absolutely. The, um, will they all be in the backfield at the same time? Maybe, maybe not. 
<laughs> let's, let's wait and see. But uh, we definitely um, have some weapons at our disposal, and it's our job to, to, to get a plan in place that those guys can go out there and do what they do very well. Yeah, I, it just unfortunate, um, and he's done a great job of getting getting back to to um, top form. But to, as, as you mentioned, I mean, he started for us right out here in this field, the fourth game of the year um, at, at guard, and that's hard to do to come in and play early as a true freshman. I mean, just from a strength standpoint, and um, and he and he performed well. So he's a he's a wily veteran. Um, he gets, get, gets a little sore, but um, he, he's uh, through five days on course, on course I think have, have his best, uh, best season uh, to this point. Also, on um, the early enrollees for the offensive line, you have back spring ball, you're getting some experience. How are they all looking out? That's all I'm getting Yeah, I didn't do a very good job of mentioning the, 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 some of the freshman guys, but um, as you had mentioned, we had, I think we had four, three or four guys on offense that came in at mid-year. They graduated high school early. And uh, went, are able to go through spring practice, get a semester, a semester of school here at Ohio U under their belt, and um, I think those guys will factor in. We'll, you know, we'll set just wait and see how things go. It's again, it's tough up front, just from a strength standpoint, but it's a definitely a huge advantage to having them here, going through spring practice. Um, they're not, they're accustomed to obviously our system, and the physicality and the speed from high school to college.